brought to you by dentalimplantsguide.com. Best online info. This is a presentation about the UNO implant, a one-piece implant from MIS. The UNO is a one-piece implant complete with a screw and a square abutment on the top of the implant. It's specially designed for lateral incisors and mandibular anteriors, as well as for narrow ridges and tight spaces. With the UNO, you get great primary stability, while at the same time, after about two and a half weeks, the secondary stability takes over with the osseointegration and replaces the primary stability that you've had. The UNO is made out of titanium grade 5, which is alloyed with aluminum and vanadium to make the implant 25 to 30 percent stronger as well as more corrosion resistant. It also has a deep thread design which enables it to get a great grip into the bone helping with the initial stability. It has a dual thread for faster insertion so you have fewer rotations as the implant goes into the bone. And you also have a dual cutting apex which is self tapping that helps with the penetration into the bone as you're placing the implant. The surface on the implant is large particle blasted and acid etched, creating macro and micro pores to help with the secondary stability. The implant comes in two different diameters, three millimeter and three and a half millimeter, and it comes in lengths of 10, 11 and a half, 13, and 16 millimeters. The length of the abutment on the top of the implant is 6.3 millimeters, and the surface on it is just acid etched. There is a neck on the implant that is 2.7 millimeters, which is large particle blasted and acid etched, and you have the choice whether or not to leave this supercrestal or actually to sink it below the bone so it is subcrestal. The length of the implant when they measure 10, 11 and a half, 13 or 16 millimeter is actually measured from the apex of the implant to the top of the threads. Within the restorative process, there is a maximum angle position of 10 degrees. You have five degrees on each side, so therefore this implant must be as straight on as you possibly can make it. There is really not much room for correction of angulation. The abutment itself has a perfectly squared crown, which helps in the retention of the crown itself. In order to go ahead and place the implant, you will need special keys developed by MIS. There is both a short key as well as a long key. As I said before, the implant has a dual thread design. What this means is that two separate threads run from the apex all the way up to the neck, and therefore when inserting the implant, the implant goes in faster, almost at double the speed, and therefore you are generating less heat and you're taking less of a risk of burning the bone as you're placing the implant. The implant itself has a dual channel at the bottom and is self-tapping. Therefore, as you're placing the implant and it's tapping its way in, it's actually gathering the bone chips, packing them against the side of the osteotomy, and enabling you to get much better initial stability. The thread design is the same from the apex all the way up to the neck. There is a 0.2 millimeter thread, as well as the, the measurement from the body to the end of the thread is 0.6 millimeters from the apex all the way up to the neck. These all help with the initial stability of the implant and helping it to really grip the bone and to, and to keep its hold. As stated before, the abutment is acid etched, which basically helps to develop micropores within the surface that will help with the soft tissue attachment, whereas the from the neck all the way down to the apex of the implant is actually large particle blasted and acid etched that gives it both micro and macro pores to help to encourage the bone to grow into the implant, therefore promoting secondary stability. The apex on the implant has a 120 degree cutting angle, which therefore helps to increase your penetration as you go into the osteotomy. The procedure is a very simple procedure. It begins with a spade drill to help mark the bone. And in this procedure, it's very important to use a spade drill so there's no possibility of it jumping. Once that has been done, you go to the next drill, which is the pilot drill, the 2 millimeter. The lines on the drill 
are marked for 8, 10, 11 and a half, and 13 millimeters, as well as 16 on the top. You drill down to the proper length, and then go to the next drill, which is a 2.4 millimeter. Now, what needs to be noted here is that if you're using the 3 millimeter Uno, you will stop after the 2.4 millimeter drill. If, as in this presentation, you're using the 3.5 millimeter Uno, you're going to go drill to the next drill, which is a 3 millimeter. And again, using the lines on the drill that indicate 8, 10, 11 and a half, 13, and 16 millimeters for the proper length. After you've drilled your osteotomy, simply open the UNO packaging. Twist and pull the capsule, which will then release the vial. Now what's to be noted here is that this plastic cap on the top of the vial is actually your delivery system. The implant is locked in there. You do the first two to three to four turns with that plastic cap, take it off, and then go ahead and use the UNO key, whether the long or the short, to finish placing the rest of the implant the rest of the way down. Now you have the option of placing the UNO with this 2.7 millimeter neck either below the bone or above the bone as shown in this picture. Either way, it's up to the clinician to decide what is the best way to place the implant. That is the UNO presentation from MIS Implants. Thank you very much, and if you have any questions, please feel free to call us. Brought to you by DentalImplantsGuide.com. Best online info.